The Lord be with you. Welcome to worship on Transfiguration Sunday in the most beautiful sanctuary in Lawrence, Kansas. I'm glad that you made the choice to be here this morning because you could be at home watching the pregame shows for a kickoff that begins at 5.30 p.m. You know, on the weeks leading up to Reformation Sunday when the color is red, I beg you to wear red. And I've never seen more red than this, this Sunday. Glad that I'm so influential. Uh, peace be with those at home worshiping via live stream, of course, or those later on KLWN, the radio broadcast at 11. Um, please uh, note your presence with us by signing the worship pads that should be on the center aisle seats, passing to the side, back to the center again, if you have any prayer concerns, you'd like more information on Trinity, please note that on the pad. Uh, Pastor Randy's Bible study has resumed. It'll be in the fellowship hall of following worship. Uh, Lent begins this Ash Wednesday, this Wednesday. Ash Wednesday, our service is at 6.30. And yes, I know, Ash Wednesday falls on Valentine's Day. I would not suggest that you write on your Valentine note, remember you were dust, and to dust you shall return. <laughs> I have not written the homily. I have no idea how to combine the two. But that's the, uh, this uh, Wednesday at 6.30. And then following uh, the Wednesdays, uh, beginning the 21st, they'll be preceded by a soup supper uh, from 5.30 to 6.15, so uh, please see the sign-up sheets if you can bring soup. We've got several people that have already signed up, but we'd like to have two or three volunteers that will uh, bring, uh, bring soup each, uh, each of the Wednesdays. That's following Ash Wednesday, beginning the 21st. Famous, famous last words uh, based on the seven last statements uh, from the cross. Uh, next weekend is the youth lock-in. There's more information on that in your bulletin, but there's also sign-up sheets to serve. We're doing that in shifts, so there are sign-up sheets in, on the information table if you can just, uh, just be here for like a four-hour period. Or if you want to be here for a 16-hour period, you can certainly do that, but we're just looking for, uh, just looking for shifts. And then I am COVID negative, very negative, but I've got a little bit of a head cold, so I'll not be serving the elements this morning, uh, nor will I be at the door uh, greeting you. But that does not mean I no longer love you. Just it's, My wife told me this is what I should do, and so I'm doing as instructed. If you would, please stand for confession and forgiveness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God of all mercy and consolation, come to the help of your people, turning us from our sin to live for you alone. Give us the power of your Holy Spirit that we may confess our sin, receive your forgiveness, and grow into the fullness of Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and one another. Most merciful God, we confess that we are powerful to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you, God, for a great deed. I love you, God, and 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 I love you, God, We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us so that we may lie in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ, was given to die for us, and for his sake God forgives us all our sins. Hear these words of forgiveness. In the tender compassion of Jesus Christ, our sins are forgiven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, 